What's up there, buddies? Thanks for tuning in. By you choosing to click and to watch this video, it shows me something about you. It gives me direct evidence and testimony to your awesomeness and your greatness. And for that, and that reason alone, I salute you. So this video is a sequel to my previous uh, video in which I built Border Models Tiger One. Now, as some of you may have heard, there's a lot of controversy surrounding this kit. The controversy involves, well, some, some questions, such as, are there fit issues with the kit? Answer is yes. Are the instructions sometimes unclear or confusing? Many the answer is yes. Last but not least, is there flash on the parts or some of the parts are mismolded? And unfortunately, the answer is yes. However, this raises the question, is this kit, Border Models Tiger One, is it the worst kit ever produced? Of course it's not, it's not the worst kit. I can't even say it's a bad kit. With some patience and some skill, you can make this into a beautiful tank. So I always start with the lightest color first. So the base coat will be my rendition of dark yellow, or also known as Dunkel Gelb. There's a lot of, I guess, controversy, a lot of bickering about what Dunkel Gelb should look like on a scaled down version of the real tank. To me, modeling, well, it's an expression of art. It's not exactly, you know, the purpose for me is not to duplicate what's in the real life exactly. I'd rather just go by what looks good to my eye. So therefore, my dark yellow is more of an artistic interpretation and expression rather than it being 100% accurate to the real life tank in a real life color. My dark yellow is all to me paints. It is 60% dark yellow, 20% white, and 20% yellow. All flat colors. Thinned with uh, Mr. Thinner, leveling thinner. Now that the dark yellow has been applied and is complete, it is time to add some more colorful colors, such as the green and the red brown. The video is, plenty, um, is pretty self-explanatory. Enjoy it, take a look. And by the way, the green is a combination of, I believe also 60% NATO green, 20% yellow, 20% white. Red brown consists of NATO brown, 20% white. I think maybe 10% yellow, and maybe even throwing in some, uh, a splash of red. All again, thinned with Mr. Thinner, Mr. Level, leveling Thinner.
So boys and girls, I wanted to try something new. I wanted to try a new technique that would accomplish two goals for me. One would shorten the time it would take me to complete weathering uh, this tank. And number two, obviously I hope it has a positive look. It has a good look. That's attractive. It's just, you know, I'm hoping it's aesthetically pleasing. So I'm gonna do what's known as speckling. I'm gonna speckle a light color first, all throughout the model. We're talking the hull and we're talking the turret. And then I'm gonna speckle a darker color. Shading, shading, shading. Shading need not be shady. So, what did I learn about shading? First of all, the paint you choose is very important when it comes to shading. Here I'm using Winsor Newton's Raw Umber, I believe. And this is a more expensive paint, but it's a finer paint. The reason why I wanted to use a higher, this quality paint is because it fades better. It blends better. So here I am applying fake shadows using a, I believe a zero brush, or maybe it's a double zero brush. And I'm trying not to have any of the paints go on the top of the side skirt. I'm gonna make some mistakes. But as you see here, uh, first I apply it as carefully as possible. Then eventually I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna you know, remove any paint or any mistake that I have done. The purpose of shading is to create fake shadows. And plus is to add a little pop to how the tank looks. It's very important for me when I'm doing this to make sure I take my time, I'm patient, don't try to rush it, try not to cut too many corners, and blends carefully, stipple carefully, but also enjoy what I'm doing while I'm doing it. Okay, folks, that's it for this video for part two. There will be a part three in which I finished the tank. I just want to say thank you so much for tuning in. If you like what you see, please press like. Please feel free to comment. Please tell me the good, the bad, and the ugly. Tell me what you think about border models. Tell me what you think about uh, this kit, if you built this kit, if you've seen this kit. Or even share what you heard about this kit. Also, if you uh, want to see more of my videos, please click subscribe. Once again, I want to say thank you so much for tuning in. Stay tuned. In the next couple of weeks, we're going to have a final video where I'm going to finish this tiger. And enjoy. All right, guys. Take care. Be well. Bye-bye.